Hello Caffeine Fiends and welcome to another video for www.getbeaned.com I'm the Mean Bean Machine and today we are comparing the DeLonghi EC680 to the DeLonghi Dedica style EC685 Now, this on the left hand side is the EC680 which I've had for quite a few years now it's been a really good workhorse but it's slowing down I think the water pressure's all gone, the heat's gone It's it works, but not well. So I have been lucky enough to be gifted the latest DeLonghi, which is the uh, Dedica Star EC685, the silver on the other side here. So we're gonna do a direct comparisons video, see, uh, you know, how they compete against each other. Um, now naturally you expect the EC685 to be, you know, have slightly more. It is the, mo the newer model, but it's effectively at time of purchase, they're effectively the, the same price. Um, and yeah, if, if, what I imagine is that the EC685, so the silver, is basically the same as the red, but for 2020 rather than 2000 and uh, I don't know, 13? Um, so, first of all, we'll look at the kind of cosmetic differences because look, they're so very similar. They're the, the same size, same kind of tank size. Um, and it's just a few little cosmetic things. Now, first things first, I have invested in the Delong Coffee Care Kit, which comes with a descaler, uh, you know, a cleaning, uh, like a chamois. Um, but most importantly, it comes with a kind of milk cleaner as well. But most importantly, it comes with the water filter, which as you can see, I've put in the tank already. Now I use filtered water anyway, because I live in a very hard water area. And I've got my old one in there as well. That's probably sort of done, or I will explain in a second that it definitely is done. But yes, I always buy the water filter because I live in a ridiculously hard water area and these things just clog up and need kind of persistent descaling um, if you don't. As is evidenced by the fact that my old EC680 is currently flashing saying, please descale me. Now it does that quite regularly now. It never used to be that regular, but it's reached a point where it just needs to do it regularly. I've not done it for this review because this is effectively gonna be its last hurrah. So there's no point in me descaling it, um, you know, before I pack it away and say goodbye. Um, but that's why it's flashing orange. But yes, I would always recommend getting the water filter if you live in a hard water area, if you live in a soft water area, um, depending on how soft the water is, then you may not need to worry about it. But I, I filter my water through a water filter anyway, and then I have a water filter in. That's how hard the water is in my area. So I would recommend the coffee care kit, the DeLonghi coffee care kit, because that's about 25 quid for, you know, several pieces of equipment, rather than just constantly replacing the filter. Um, anyway, so on cosmetic differences, the initial differences that I can straight away pick out, that you can straight away see. So let's look at the baskets here. You know, same size. As you can see, this one's cleaner, less used, or hasn't been used yet. But the initial difference you'll see between the baskets is that although both the baskets pop out, the newer uh, EC685, I'll just start referring to it as the five, the zero and the five, or the red and the silver, yeah? So the newer one has this detachable filter, yeah? So the filter comes out for nice, easy cleaning, yeah? Lovely, filter comes out as well as, I mean, the basket pops out. Anyway, he says. See, basket pops out anyway for cleaning, and then the filter pops out. Now the old style just has the basket, basket still pops out for cleaning, but as you can see, filter's still attached, doesn't come out, yeah? So for easier cleaning, they've now updated to the filter can be removed as well, lovely stuff. Yeah, so that's the only difference I can see in the basket. So we'll move on to the kind of drip tray. As you can see here, because they've announced it is the Dedica style. They've put Dedica in. 
you know, nothing. Just trick, trade, play, fine, lovely, does the job. As you can see, they're exactly the same inside. This one needs a bit of cleaning, because gross, but brown shiny, yeah, exactly the same inside. Just an engraving on the plate doesn't, doesn't matter. Inside is purely cosmetic. Again, though, they've done a little feature on the bottom of the trip chip tray here. So they now, they now have a metal plate which can be removed again for easier cleaning. So in theory, you shouldn't get any kind of water or gunk there. Um, whereas there's nothing here. So that's that cosmetic difference. And finally, as far as I can tell, it's the milk wand. So, you know, standard milk wand, lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. Um, you know, put your milk jug up to it and then you need to gauge where the milk, uh, you know, where to put your milk. So for anyone with kind of barista training, I say that as someone who has barista training, this machine doesn't compete to, you know, something you have in a shop. So I was forever trying to gauge where to put my milk anyway. So now they've brought in this little filter that, you know, push it up or down. If you want hot milk, push it up. If you want cappuccino milk, push it down so that you know where you should be placing the jug. Of course, that also relies on how much milk you're putting in and whatever. So it is still a bit kind of pointless, but whatever. Um, but those are the cosmetic differences. So largely the same, couple of, you know, nice additions. I like the fact that you can clean the filter easily and the extra drip tray, they are nice, um, you know, good stuff, but otherwise almost exactly the same. So what we will do now is put some coffee in, exactly the same amount of coffee in each one, see how it comes out. Now, of course, we're expecting this one to be less impressive because it's older anyway. It is on its last leg, or maybe not its last legs, but it's not doing as well. And of course, it does need the descaling. So I imagine this one's gonna outperform it anyway, but you can have the side to side comparison and see how that works out. So, so let's I've taken the initial kind of parts of the drip tray off just to fit the uh, mugs in underneath it, but they're both clear mugs so you can see exactly the kind of coffee extraction. Now, both baskets have exactly the same amount of coffee in exactly the same grind and exactly the same type of coffee. So they're quite tightly packed. So I am expecting kind of both machines to struggle because I probably, they're on the, you know side of being overfilled but we shall see how each one deals with the coffee extraction so away we go Wow, so you've got quite a marked difference there from exactly the same kind of amount of coffee. So initially we saw the red, the zero, um, pushes coffee out first, um, not with great mouse tailing, but it got there and then it just kind of stopped. Now the E685 took longer to get there, but had a relatively decent amount of mouse tailing. And look at the extraction rate. Look, you've got, you know, shot body, heart, heads. And, you know, it's something I would have to, I would have to be running that through twice to get the same amount of espresso. Now, again, that will be a lot to do with the age, the fact that it needs kind of descaling. But as an initial comparison, you can see that the EC685 is a lot better at what it is producing. So um, maybe we'll give it a taste test and see. It should be exactly the same, same water. Um, so we'll just give them a sip. Yeah, and see if there's any kind of initial difference. Oh, 
again, because of the extraction, you're getting a lot more complexity from this one, a lot more of the flavor. Um, you know, and that's not bad, but it is just kind of very flat compared to that. Um, so we'll now froth up some milk, see how that goes and uh, check out the comparisons on those. In comparison, we're gonna use exactly the same milk and exactly the same jug. Uh, this is not the jug that came with the EC685 barista pack. This is a jug I bought myself for the EC680. Now being a jug, it shouldn't really affect the process too much anyway, but we're gonna use exactly the same milk and exactly the same jug and exactly the same amount of milk in the jug. Uh, so we'll start with the uh, 680, move on to the 685. So first things first, here comes the 680. there it took an absolute age to get it up to temperature which kept producing more bubbles because you're pushing more air in whilst you're waiting for the temperature to heat up so you just over foam your milk um, again that's that's an age thing it what hasn't always done that but it does take a while to heat up which has always been an issue for it so we'll check out the pour um, and see how it goes but it took a long time to get that milk going and I'm hoping that a new machine, competitively speaking, so I'm just gonna pour it out, I'm not gonna do anything snazzy, he says. Um, so yeah, not bad pour, yeah, not a lot bad. But I mean, that milk, too frothy, basically, because it had to be held there for quite a long time. So I'm hoping I'm gonna set the E6685 to the hot milk setting um, and try and produce a similar sort of latte thing Latte is what I'm trying to produce. I've got kind of cappuccino head because of waiting for that foam, um, but we'll see how it goes down with the newer model and see if there's any difference. result there as it took almost exactly the same amount of time to get to a temperature that I was happy with. I was just using my hand to gauge the temperature. I wasn't using any, you know, it's not the most scientific of tests. It's not accurate, but you can see less air bubbles. So it's a smoother milk. And it, it, I had the, the ability to do the kind of last bit of foaming on my own accord because it wasn't pumping so much air in. So that's nice. So it's a smoother kind of array of milk. So I'm hoping this will be a lot smoother. And yeah, there's no head there because I've not kind of done anything to produce head. Um, so that is allows for the, the kind of the barista in you. And I think that's probably why it has the filter for those who don't, you know, do barista. So, you know, hold the jug there. If you want hot milk, no, you want cappuccino, hold it lower, yeah? So that's a good little feature. Um, but as you can see, that's what I wanted. That's not what I wanted, although I will grant you to many that will look more appealing than that. But more coffee, better milk. Um, 
so we'll we'll give them a sip. Um, again, I imagine that that one is going to be stronger. It had more coffee, better extraction. But yeah, so you've got to get through the chunky head of kind of foamed milk first. Here, more. It should just be straight into kind of a milky coffee. Yeah, and that coffee, stronger coffee, comes through a lot better. So, overall, of course, we're going for the newer model. But through those kind of very unscientific tests, I would say they are largely the same. But, of course, the newer model is going to compete at a better level. It's not been in my kitchen for seven years pumping out three coffees a day. Whereas this one has, this has been a real workhorse and is still producing reasonable coffee. Like not great, but reasonable, does a job for me. This I'm hoping will, you know, up the level of my reviews and my extraction. I mean, we saw the difference in the extraction rates there. Um, so yeah, really kind of pleased with the newer one, but also very happy that it's so similar to kind of what I know and love. So yeah. If you are thinking of upgrading your old DeLonghi, why not stick with DeLonghi? If you want something different, then I guess the EC685 is not for you. It's very much, much of a muchness, um, but, you know, shinier and newer and running more efficiently. Um, so thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe for more coffee reviews videos. Do smash those like and subscribe buttons. And of course, check us out on www.getbean.com. Take care. Bye bye.